When describing a scatter plot, there's four things you have to talk about. Direction, outliers, form, and strength. You can use the acronym DOOFS to help you remember. So for our description, we'll say there's a moderately strong, that's the strength, positive, that's the direction, linear, that's the form, relationship between the average tooth fairy gift and the value of the S&P 500. There does not appear to be any outliers. We know the direction is positive because as the average tooth fairy gift increases, the S&P 500 seems to be increasing as well. There's no obvious curvature in the scatter plot, so the form does seem linear, and the points on the scatter plot fit that linear pattern fairly well, so the strength is at least moderately strong. Now the slope and the y-intercept can be found right here under coefficients in our mini-tab output. The slope is the coefficient of tooth, our explanatory variable, and the coefficient for constant, this is our y-intercept. So our equation is the predicted S&P 500 value equals 347.99 times tooth plus 524.77. And make sure you define any variables you use in your equation. So we'll say where SP500 hat is the predicted value of the S&P 500, and tooth is the average tooth fairy gift amount in dollars per tooth. We can interpret the slope like this. For each additional dollar in average tooth fairy gift per tooth, we expect the value of the S&P 500 to increase by 347.99. You can see this directly in the equation. Each time tooth increases by 1, we're going to end up adding another 347.99 to our total prediction for the S&P 500. That's all multiplication is, is repeated addition. We can interpret the slope like this. If the average tooth fairy gift was $0 per tooth, we expect the S&P 500's value to be 524.77. Now correlations R, and in our output, we're given R squared right here. The problem is, when R gets squared, we lose the information about whether it was originally positive or negative. So we have to say the absolute value of R equals the square root of our R squared value. But by looking at the scatter plot, we know the direction was positive. So our R value must be about 0.884, which is the square root of 0.781. Now the maximum R could be as 1, which would be a perfect positive linear relationship. So 0.884 is a strong correlation. So we'll interpret it like this. There is a strong positive linear relationship between average tooth fairy gift and the value of the S&P 500. If you liked this video and want to learn more about scatter plots, least squares regression, residuals, and how to use your calculator, check out this playlist. Lots of students have found the first video on the playlist particularly helpful.